the color picker can be activated in multiple ways. To find the tool, tap the color button in the center of the tool wheel, and then find the eyedropper button on the innermost menu. The crosshairs will appear in the center of the canvas. Drag it over to the spot you'd like to sample, then release, and your active brush will have adopted the new color. A quicker way to access the color picker is with a tap and hold gesture. Just tap and hold anywhere on canvas, then toggle the color picker from the selection menu at the bottom. If you want it to come up every time you tap and hold, you can customize this gesture's behavior in your interaction settings. The circle around the crosshair shows a comparison between the current color of your brush at the bottom and the new color about to be picked on top. If you want to include the alpha channel, or the opacity of a given color, you can toggle the option down here. With alpha off, we'll pick the base color of anything on the canvas you point at, while retaining the current opacity setting of your brush. With alpha on, the picker will ignore the canvas background color and adopt the opacity level of any given point of your brush stroke. This becomes more apparent if the background is set to transparent. You can see how the opacity setting changes based on where we pick the color of this watercolor stroke. Finally, the color picker isn't limited to just picking colors. You can also pick up the tool used in any type of stroke on canvas. Point at the desired stroke, and you'll see an icon of the target brush appear. If you tap on that with another finger, the new brush will take the slot of your active brush in your tool set. There is a caveat that your smoothness level will be reset to zero. You also won't have access to the color picker when using an editing tool like Nudge or Hard Mask, for example, as those tools don't have any particular color.